Church, I want to bring you an update on a few things that we're doing in regards to the coronavirus crisis. First, thank you for gathering with us this week online. We had an overwhelming response from people who joined us either on the website or through Facebook Live. One number that stood out to me was that we had an almost 900% increase in our website activity during this service. Wow, I'm so thankful for the technology we have and the people who know how to use it. Second, I wanna go ahead and give you notice that we will be online again this coming Sunday. I just listened to the president's update and this situation may get worse before it gets better. They are making strong recommendations over the next 15 days to limit gathering sizes to no more than 10 people. While they are not mandating anything at this point, they really believe this is necessary to keep more serious spread of the virus from happening. And we wanna be good community partners in this. I want you to know that we're developing plans to engage with you in other ways, ways to reach out to members, and, and there will even be ways that you can help and participate. The staff has been set up into four teams, discipleship, care, outreach and worship services. They are already meeting and developing plans and and we hope to update you as soon as some of those plans are available. We're going to do everything we can to continue caring for each other and making disciples. I realize there's a tremendous amount of anxiety through all this. We're going to update you with information as we have it. We also want to hear from you if you have questions, thoughts, or prayer requests. You can submit prayer requests online or on our website. We're adding a button to the website to submit questions or concerns, and you can also email us at info at fbct.org. Please know there are lots of moving parts here. We're dealing with this as all of us are, responding as things unfold. Please be patient with us and give us your prayers. Church, this is a time when we have our best ability to actually be the church. You don't need our permission to call, text, or write notes to people. Care for those you know. Bible study leaders, I'm confident, will reach out to to their individual classes. Several have said to me recently that perhaps God will use this time to draw us to Himself. Let's pray that perhaps even revival or a spiritual awakening could occur through this. I've already heard stories of people who haven't been in church in years who checked out our online services yesterday. People are looking for answers and for hope, and we happen to know hope. His name is Jesus. Please be faithful to engage online, watch the services, and please continue to give faithfully. You can give online or mail in your tithe. Your staff is fully functioning, and when this is over, we need to be ready for what God will want to do then. May God bless you this week, and I'll continue to update you as we have more information. God bless you.